Hi, my name is Keith Idaki. Hi, my name is Leanne Lee. And, and we, we are Idaki Art. Art. We do a lot of different things. Uh, one of the couple main things that we do is that we do um, big scale paintings, um, murals, as well as uh, small scale uh, two dimensional art. And we also do t shirts. We like to use non-conventional methods as far as what we do in our art, uh, but I think the message and the stories that we relay are uh, a lot of traditional histories that we have, a lot of our heritage that we um, want to share with the community. Uh, I think that's one of our main focuses that, you know, growing up we had a lot of these within our own households, uh, these stories being told in the family, usually like at dinner or sometimes, but now we kind of see that doesn't happen as often. So uh, I think that's our our mission is to, you know, try to tell those stories that aren't being told as often uh, that should be, uh, just so that we can get uh, all those information that we share, that we know that we want to share with the people. Yeah, I think most of our designs, we try to like you said, keep traditional, try to tell a story that, you know, isn't told most days anymore. And the more we see it, a lot of people tend to look at art more than they would listen to someone. So that's how we try to tell our stories is through our paintings. Uh, for us, for our style of work, uh, I think we've, um, aren't really given that much light in the spotlight, I guess you can say. Because uh, when you see and when you hear about Zuni, you often hear about the jewelers, you hear about the potters, the fetish carvers, but it's, you know, very seldom that you hear about a Zuni painter. And, you know, that's basically who we are. We do a lot of two-dimensional art. And, you know, that's one of the things that was always difficult for us, you know, to have that recognition, you know, it's always uh, harder for us um, to gain that, I, I guess you can say, to gain that um, recognition. So that was one of the struggles that we had to uh, uh, face uh, when we were doing our, our things is that, you know, that's one of the things that we encounter is that, you know, as a, as a painter, you know, we didn't have that recognition that you know a lot of people like jewelers and painters or jewelers potters or silversmiths will get so. so I think one of the things that we're always striving for is to create um, the best uh, products that we can and and of course always expanding right now you know we're in our small little workshop here you know it's sufficient enough to get things done but uh, I think one of the things that we're always doing is we're always going back and forth about, you know, if we had, if we were able to do this, you know, there's so much more that we can provide. And, you know, that's always our mentality is when we do something, we're always talking to ourselves, how can we make this better? How can we do this even more um, better for uh, our community? And I think that's one of the things that we're always um, talking about. And it's not just for us. You know, we're always talking about how can Zuni, Zuni artists, you know, benefit. The future, you know, we, we really look forward to the future because like we've been saying, we, we're not scared to try. We're always willing to, you know, test the limits of how far we can go. And I mean, if it fails, you know, it's not gonna push us 10 steps back. It's just gonna leave us where we are to try a different route. And I think that's what we really look mm -hmm. forward to is giving it a shot. Even if it sets us like one step back, it's not gonna push us further than we already are. Yeah, and I think one of the things that we're always, we're our, our biggest things that we're always talking about. And again, it's not just us, but I think through our art, we're really thinking of different ideas for Zuni to become self-sufficient and not really rely on anyone. Um, 
as far as supporting our community and I think there's a ton of talent here there's a ton of things that we can offer uh, you know it's just figuring out best way to utilize those things and so you know we're always thinking bigger than what we're in right now but you know of course that's right now we're just thinking and planning but hopefully eventually those things will come into play.